Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to The Past is Alive, another episode of The Weekend Recap. And I found some decent stuff this weekend. Nothing too crazy, but found a bunch of 90s packs and one mid-80s pack. So pretty stoked to open those up. Yesterday, didn't have too much luck. Came across one thing in the antique mall. I'm not looking forward to this winter at all and being stuck rummaging through antique malls because I never really find anything good and everything is always overpriced for the most part. But today, Eric and I went out to Altoona to an outdoor flea market that was kind of barren overall. Bad weather for the most part. And I uh, went to a card shop, another antique mall, and picked up a bunch of different stuff. So I'm looking forward to ripping some packs tonight and looking for some cool 90s inserts and things of that nature. And right off the bat, there's a $2 Super Chat from Mike5041. It says, first, hoping to get an FMF package out to you soon. Thank you so much, Mike5481. Really appreciate that, man. I definitely will keep an eye out for that. And um, definitely please check out, click on that Super Chat and give him a sub as well. I'm not sure if you have a channel or not, but I will do, uh, do that after the stream. I'm not sure if FMF is going to stick around for too much longer. I'm thinking about possibly canceling it sometime soon, but uh, I'll let you guys all know if that's the case. Definitely need to have uh, at least one more mailman appearance before <laughs> that does happen. So there's a couple things, too, that I didn't show you um, from like two weeks ago when Eric and I went to Youngstown, Ohio, that I decided to throw in the mix here. How many of you guys remember this show from 1991? Dinosaurs was part of TGIF at one point. Only lasted for about three years, but uh, was a huge fan of this show when I was younger. Eric was definitely a fan of it as well. And I'm sure you guys probably remember giving these to your classmates in elementary school. Saving the best one for your elementary school crush there. <laughs> but I always liked that show. They had, a, they had the whole series on Netflix not too long ago. I kind of missed out on it. Though. I watched a few episodes and then they took it off there. It was late to the stream. but uh, I always liked that show. I thought it was pretty funny, especially for that time. Hey, T-Dog Shay. And thank you guys all for being here. I really appreciate that. Um, the next thing I picked up, too, I don't think I showed this to you guys either. This is also from the Flea Market, Ohio. For any of you TMNT fans, it's a pretty rare novelty item here. 42-inch Delta Wing Kite with the original Hills price tag on it, which I thought was pretty awesome. Love Hills. I think there's, like, one of these listed on eBay right now, and it's, like, 100 bucks, which, obviously, this is not worth 100 bucks, but uh, still cool nonetheless. It's just 2 bucks. In Youngstown at Four Seasons Flea Market. Never really have too much luck out there anymore. I feel like we always go at bad times, miss the card vendors, or something else is going on. Bad weather overall. But those are two things from like two weekends ago I didn't show you guys yet that I thought were pretty cool. And then yesterday, a few Donnie baseball fans had to pick this. This was a buck at a local antique mall, original KB Toys sticker on it. It was six bucks back in the day. And this is from 1990. Kenner uh, produced these, my favorite toy company of all time. Produced Tons of different awesome toy lines in the 80s and 90s. No longer around anymore, but uh, very, very cool stuff overall. Donnie baseball fans out there. Eric and I used to collect starting lineups. We never kept them in the packaging, of course. We had to take them out, but still have a bunch of the original ones. I thought that was pretty neat. For a buck, I can't turn down starting lineups, especially from stars and should be Hall of Famers, that is. So thanks again, you guys, tuning in. we got a bunch of packs to rip into. Um... I was stoked to find this, 85 Leaf. We went back to Altoona. Um, the guy that I bought the $20 box off of, which you guys may have seen that video, and also a bunch of those 93 Tops packs, Series 1, we ripped last weekend. He had more packs, so Eric and I bought a bunch of those. Went to Juniata Cards, like we usually do when we're in, Johnstown, or in uh, Altoona, and uh, picked up some singles, too. I guess we might as well check those out first. Um... I was pretty stoked about this one. Walker, Walker Bueller, 2018 Don Russ rookie card for a dime. I thought that was a good pickup. I don't normally buy newer rookie cards, but definitely one I couldn't walk away from or turn down. And then a Zach Greinke, 2004 Tops rookie for 50 cents. Didn't have that as part of my PC, so had to add that one, especially for two quarters. That was pretty sick. There's five bucks from Ripping for Ripkins. It says, hey, John, hope you had a great weekend, bro. Love the finds and can't wait to see what you can find in those packs tonight. Keep the past alive. Thank you so much, Rupin for Ripkins. I really appreciate that, man. Please, if you're not subbed to him, please go check him out. He just did a two-box break of 90 Upper Deck looking for the notorious Reggie Jackson autograph card. There's only 2,500 in existence. And um, he went on a search for those, so check that video out. 
Um, if you're into ripping old packs, which I think most of us are here, um, he's got plenty more on the way. Really appreciate your support, man. Looking forward to more stuff from you. And this one was from Junior Attic Cards. William McCovey, 1960 Topps rookie card. One that I've wanted for quite a while and ended up picking this up for 20 bucks today. And, I mean, first glance, it looks to be pristine, but there actually is a faint crease right down the middle there for the most part, a diagonal. Um, but I couldn't turn it down for 20 bucks for my rookie card collection. I'll probably hang on to it until I can find a better condition one, but uh, I was even looking on eBay today. Seems like they're selling for around 30, 40 bucks, and the ones that I've seen selling are cut very, very bad. So this is pretty nice compared to the other ones that I saw. Then they start to get pretty pricey for the ones that are centered a little better. Another pickup from an antique mall today from my buddy Dave. Um, Joe Torrey, 62 Tops rookie card. This was eight bucks. Definitely one that I've had on my radar for a little while too. And it's not perfect, but um, I don't really concern myself too much with more vintage cards as far as condition goes. I just like to have the actual card. So this one is good in my eyes, especially for eight bucks for Joe Torrey. So another one I'll add to the rookie collection, and we'll see an update on that sometime pretty soon. I'll, I'll go through and uh, show you guys all those again, because I picked up a lot um, since I think the last video I did was in like December. So there's quite a good bit added to it. And the last one here, a La Russa 64 Tops rookie card. This was 15 bucks at Juniata Cards. Steve's an awesome guy. If you're ever in the area, check out Juniata Cards. Um, lots of singles, lots of different wax boxes, and just really friendly, nice guy in general. So 15 bucks for a La Russa rookie card. Going back and trying to pick up these 60s rookies now, kind of working my way back a little bit. Still need some more junk wax era rookies, but uh, can't turn these down for the price when I see them. So that's it as far as singles go. And then I want to tell you guys, too, um, we're getting super close to 5,000 subs here. So I really appreciate you guys for all being on board and helping me to keep the past alive. This is going to be one giveaway. I picked this up today. This will be one giveaway we do during the video for the 5K appreciation uh, sub video. Um, eight and a half Beckett graded Frank Thomas 90 Leaf rookie card. Very iconic card. Of the junk wax there. I don't really consider 90 Leaf to be junk wax at all whatsoever. But um, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that like to own this card. So definitely um, can maybe make that happen on the night of the video. So I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do giveaways and whatnot. But we'll be giving a good bit of stuff away that night. Just to show my appreciation for all you guys and all your support. So that's really about it. So not a whole lot of singles, but some decent ones. And... Um, I figure we rip some packs here. One of my favorite sets of the Junk Wax era, 91 Bowman. Love this set. Lots of good key rookie cards and Hall of Famers came out of this set with the original Hill sticker on it. So I think this was a buck or a buck 50. Um, let's start out with 91 Bowman. Some key rookies in here Chipper Jones, Mike Mussina, Pudge Rodriguez, Jim Tomey, Tim Salmon, Eric Karras. Probably some that I forgot and didn't name as well, but uh, some very nice rookie cards came out of the set. There's a Henry Rodriguez. That's actually his rookie card on top there. He had some good years. Canseco, league leaders card there. Phil Plantier, what a hot card that was back in 91. And there's actually Luis Gonzalez rookie card. Not a high dollar card by any means, but still cool regardless. Old Luis Gonzalez. Be nice to find one of those key rookies in here. Is it Clemens? I thought that was Mussina for a second. Looks very similar to that card. Now it's just Arthur Rhodes and Palmiro. Yeah, no auction tonight. Um, maybe we'll pick that up again next weekend. Just want to rip some packs, hang out with you guys. Hopefully you guys all had a good weekend and maybe hit up some flea markets yourselves. Definitely worried for the season to be over. And as Matt Williams didn't find anything too great in there, Luis Gonzalez, the best rookie, and a couple stars. Now, kind of in a bit of a dilemma here. I just have a hard time throwing this away because of that hill sticker on it. <laughs> maybe I'm just a hoarder, I guess, but very, very hard for me to part with that wrapper now because of that sticker. So also found... 
some of these dual grocery store packs from Walmart in 93. 93 Tops Football and Series 1 with a Jeter in it. We ripped a bunch of these, probably like six of them last week, and didn't find the Jeter. Found some decent uh, stars and whatnot, but did find a Bettis rookie card in there. So, figure we rip one of these, found one more. Eric bought some packs too, so I'm sure you guys will see those at some point. And used to seeing those cards. 93 Tops. I think Bledsoe rookie cards in here. The Bettis. Let me point this down a little bit. It's angled up too much. I didn't catch a game, but I did hear the Braves won. Uh, Carl Lee gold card. Hey, classic cards. Hey, Turtle Bees. What's going on, man? Reggie White. Natron Means. Definitely remember his name from the mid-90s. Probably virtually no value to that card these days. And maybe a Jeter will await us in this pack. CLG, what's going on, man? It says, didn't hit any flea markets, but did pick up eight, about eight starting lineups, bobbleheads, and going through a huge box of cards right now. It's pretty sick. Eric Karras, gold cup card. There's Rhino. And a Kruk. Gold, the top's gold card is Junior Felix. No prospect cards in this pack. Oh, well, still fun anyways to rip a pack of those open. Let's uh, check these out. 85 Leaf. I saw two packs of these last week, and I skipped on them for whatever reason. But uh, my fun of Doc Gooden, Eric Davis, Pocket, Clemens. Some nice rookies in 85 overall. There's Roger Clemens. Wow. That is pretty sick. Not too bad looking either. Obviously off center, but I did not have this one on my PC. The Clemens 85 Leaf rookie card. Pretty sick. I like that one a lot. I have the, uh, I think I have the pocket. I have the, I have the Doc Gooden uh, Leaf rookie card. That is some. There is Autistic Family Collectibles. That's some luck right there. That's pretty awesome. I'm very excited about that. I was not, not expecting the Clemens at all whatsoever. And uh, Blackboard makes it tough to get high grades on these, obviously. I don't send cards to PSA regardless. I just like to have them for my own collection. But um, no white corners on that one. Very nice. Jim Rice, Diamond Kings. Dave Steeb. Jack Clark and Sutcliffe looking pretty haggard. 85 is not junk wax era. Junk wax era is typically considered 87 to 93. I don't really even consider 87 junk wax. I mean, they definitely were very much overproduced, but like 87 Don Russ, when I think of 87 Don Russ, I don't think of junk wax at all. That set's pretty awesome. Some good rookies in there. 87 tops, very overproduced, but uh, even that set has some good rookies in it. Then you go on to 88 tops, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> then it gets worse and worse. And Steve... Um, from Juniata Cards, threw in this pack on our way out today. I don't really ever rip new packs, so this should be interesting. Maybe we'll find an auto in here. Miguel and Duhar. There's a pool hulse. Actually, need to track down his rookie card here pretty soon. There's a Verlander. A lot of people think the Astros are going all the way, all the way this year. I tend to agree with them. Trevor Bauer, Blake Snell, Machado. Um, are these insert cards? Can't say I've ever seen these. A star character. Interesting. Big league, not very a... I'm not really a uh, high-value set. DJ Stewart rookie card. Christian Stewart. Huh. Some nice uh, stars in there, though, overall. That pool holes in Verlander a lot. Still kind of shook up about that Clemens. That's pretty awesome. So we have... 95 Leaf Limited. I was actually looking at getting a box of these on eBay recently. Um, I can't say I've ever ripped a pack of these. These were pretty premium cards back in 95. 95, Eric and I were buying a ton of Topps packs that I think were $1.29 back then. Somewhere around there, maybe $1.49. These were several bucks more, and you only got five cards. And back there, I was all about... Or back then, I think most of us were all about uh, quantity over quality. We just wanted more cards. Um... So I never really had too many of them, but I uh, always liked this set. I think there's only 45,000 boxes of these produced, which relatively no low number back then. And we have 98 Series 2 Upper Deck. 
it might be able to pull like Carlos Lee rookie card out of there, Maglio Ordonez. Upper Deck always had a lot of uh, insert sets too, so maybe we'll find something. Yeah, these were all 50 cents. Even uh, even these rack packs, which I don't remember seeing these at all. 94 Collector's Choice rack packs. Um, series 1, nothing too crazy in Series 1. Some Hall of Famers. Michael Jordan rookie card and uh, A-Rod are in Series 2. But maybe we'll pull like a silver signature of somebody decent. This pack looks kind of weird and like tampered with, but I double checked before leaving there. This is one year after I left the hobby, so I didn't really experience these cards too much, if at all. Bobby Bowes on top here, stuck together. I see a Ripken that looks to be an insert card in here. Prime 9, PN32, so it is an insert card. Pretty cool. Ripken Jr. there. And Mike Messina. That's an odd picture to use. <laughs> Mike Messina cranking one out of the park, it looks like. Or just popping up. Adam Riggs, star rookie. I think I may have bought a few packs of these before I was done collecting all together for a while. Schmidt. Looks like we have a big unit in here. And Frank Thomas. Not a bad pack at all. Kent Hill and Todd Fordham. Not too bad at all. The Ripken insert and uh, Thomas and Johnson. Not too shabby. Let's check out some of these. Series 2. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. Hideo Nomo is the big rookie in this set. That was a hot card back then. I remember buying it um, as a single. Then it went up, way up in value, then plummeted way down. But these were nice looking cards. Like I said, definitely premium back then. Crime dog on top, but very glossy. If you didn't know any better, you might think that they're refractors. There's a Juan Gone insert card in here. And it's Eddie Murray. Bat Patrol. These were only uh, available in Series 2 packs, so that's kind of cool. I think the most valuable card is like a couple bucks, so nothing too crazy, but uh, nice looking card. I've never seen those before. Allroot and Jose Rio. But pretty flashy looking cards overall. I think you can pick up a box of these for like 60 bucks, somewhere around there. Five cards per pack. There were 20 packs per box. 20 boxes per case. But uh, like I said, never had too many of these. It looks like we have another one. I think these Bad Patrol are one per pack. So they're pretty common. Manny Ramirez. Any Bennis and Sean Dunstan. I think there is like 184 cards in this set, so it's not a really big set at all whatsoever. NCJ Sports Cards. How you doing, man? It says, hey, John, at the Green Dragon Flea Market, I found half a case of 77 Reggie Bars. I did not buy them, but should have got at least one, maybe next week. Yeah, you definitely should, man. I see a Ken Griffey on the back of this one. I don't think you can actually pull the gold cards of these. I think those are only coming Series 1. Big move on. And the insert card is Tim Salmon. Not a bad one. And there's a kid. Very nice, flashy card there. I like that one a lot. Pretty good, pretty good condition, too, for being bounced around in a box for the last 34 years. So these are all Series 2. Hey, Rebecca. So we'll tear some of these. A few uh, rack packs of Collector's Choice and part ways for the evening. Vinny Castilla. Tony Gwynn is the Bat Patrol card in this one. Pretty nice. And like I said, you can pick up a box of these for relatively cheap, too. If you want to have some fun and check out some cards that you may remember or may never have seen before. Kind of like me. We used to buy grab bags at the shop called Discount Sports Cards. And there was, I think, common cards in this set were always valued at like 50 cents. I would always see a bunch of those in penny sleeves with price tags on them. Javi Lopez cut kind of weird there. Eric Z says, I've never seen those cards before. Those are new. That's awesome that you can go back and uh, discover something new from the 90s. There's a Griffey Bat Patrol. Very nice. So back-to-back -back Griffey's. Nice insert there. I like that one a lot. Klesko and Rondell White. 
Got four more packs of these. Looks like we have Javi Lopez on the back of this one. Tim Wallach on top. And the insert card is Mo Vaughn in this one. Dave Durango would like that one a lot. And there's another Lopez, but centered a little better that time. Hey, Papa J, Reindeer Studios, everybody else. Eric Z says, oh, collector's choice. I wasted tons of money on those. I have like five A-Rod rookies, including a Silver Sig. That's pretty awesome. There's Big Mac. Decent one there. And the pocket is a Bat Patrol card in this one. So it's kind of nice. A lot of these 90s packs, they uh, decided to include one insert per pack. Even some of the early 2000s did that as well. Hey, my brother's in here. What's up, Eric? Hey, Kirk is a Klingon. What's happening? Thanks for stopping by. Kirk's going Reggie Sanders and another Donnie Baseball piece here to go to the starting lineup we showed you earlier. Very nice. Sosa and Brian L. Hunter as they used to call him. So not really any duds as far as inserts go. Pretty cool. Hey, Grayson and Doug. How are you guys all doing tonight? You may have seen the video we uh, did a few weeks ago doing a box of 94 Leaf Limited. Those cards are really nice too. Those ones a lot and these are relatively cheap nowadays. Crime Dog Bat Patrol. Carlos Berga, or as we used to call him, Carlos Berga, back when we were little kids, or one of the neighborhood kids did. And there's Big Mac again. Yeah, Collector's Choice were always so cheap back in the 90s. They're like along the same lines of score. So definitely bought a ton of them with you there, Eric Z. I know the feeling. Hey, Rick Carr says, hello from Australia, John. Well, greetings to you down under, man. Thank you for being here. So I don't remember seeing these ever when I was a kid. Rack packs for Collector's Choice. Very odd thing here, but uh, let's check out these. See if there's... The other ones used to have one silver card per pack. It looks like they still might. They also had some goofy stuff in these as well, I remember. And there's Wagner Rookie Card. It's probably like the best card you can pull out of Series 1 as far as rookies go. Trot Nixon's in Series 1 as well, but uh, nice Wagner Rookie Card. The great stats overall in his career. Randy Myers is the silver signature. Remember that Al Marlin card? <laughs> I used to be real annoyed by that card for whatever reason. Paul Malter, missed that one. So these ones are going to be going every which way. Well, Lee Smith, so we got a few Hall of Famers in here. Reggie Sanders, Ken Caminiti, and Bobby Munez. Grayson says, what is a good way to start YouTube? Well, that's a good question. I guess it all depends on uh, what you're trying to do, what kind of videos you're trying to make. And then you can kind of go from there. I remember these checklist cards. Portrait checklist cards kind of remind me of 2013 Throw Play. Todd Jones, Silver Signature, nothing too great there. Blast Miner. It's a very plain design for these for the most part, but I definitely remember having tons of them when we were younger just because of how cheap they were. Jose Rio. <laughs> Looking uh, very cool in that one. May not rip all these. May keep some of them to send on to you guys. Another Blast Miner, Sean Green. It's actually his third year card. There's a Delgado, third year. Our Todd Jones. And the silver is Fred McGriff. Not a bad one at all. So Series 1 was kind of littered with uh, mostly commons for the most part. Series 2, you have the bigger names like Jordan, White Sox, Rookie Card, and uh, A-Rod. Or as some of you guys have to call him, A-Roid. So we'll rip, maybe rip like one more of these. No auction tonight. We'll pick that back up maybe again next Sunday. And like I said, 
fan mail or friend mail Friday may be axed here soon. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm thinking about uh, doing away with that altogether, but I'd like to make one final skit for the fun of it before that happens. Another Tim Salmon looks like. Jose Mesa. Turk Wendell. I was always confused by that card. Matt Williams. It's actually 94 is the year that Matt Williams was cranking them. Mike 5041 says, John, would you would your PO box still be open if you had an FMF? Yeah, definitely. Um, I may I may keep it going. I mean, you could still be, you could still send me stuff if I end it. Um, I just would do with a series or do with it as a series. Maybe still open uh, packages here and there on camera. Jonathan H., I appreciate that, man. Mark Hutton. Blast Modern might be the new Bad Omen. <laughs> There's this silver facsimile card. So, Moises Alou. Yeah, as you, you get the gist of it, not a whole lot of great stuff in here. Ron Darling. Maybe we'll rip open one more. And call it a night. Like I said, um, the 5,000 sub video, I really appreciate all you guys. This is one thing I picked up today that will be possible to obtain uh, whenever we uh, hit that tier, if we hit it sometime soon. And I'll have other stuff planned out as well. I haven't decided if I'm going to do like, a, I don't know, do a break for that video or if I'm going to do like a personal break or something else. Not real sure yet. Kind of thinking about some boxes that I might like to just rip for my own uh, collection overall. <laughs> Joseph C says, 5,000 subs, they grow up so fast. <laughs> George Buss, how are you, man? Just now saw your comment. Mike5481 says, one Bernard Gilkey card for every subscriber. And Ripping for Ripkins just hit 69 subs. Nice. That is cool, man. Channel is growing quickly. Keep pumping those videos out. Austin says, been meaning to send more stuff for FMF just broke. I, I don't expect you to, man. I am not worried about it, man. <laughs> don't apologize. Wally Joyner, Silver Facts, Emily Card, Jane Moyer. The big cat here, top performers. These weren't inserts or base cards. I think we saw the, the best rookie we could possibly pull, the Billy Wagner. But uh, overall, very plain cards. I think 95 Collector's Choice was a little nicer looking with the blue border and whatnot. Hey, Alex. I actually meant, I read your email. I actually meant to respond to you. I just didn't get a chance yet. I will, uh, I'll email you tonight after the stream is over. Barry Bonds, top performers. Wayne Gomez. Yeah, so, I don't know. Kind of a lot of junk in these packs. Rob Ventura, Javi Lopez. But still fun anyways to go back through. I haven't opened a pack of these probably since the mid-90s. Dave Winfield. We'll do one more and then uh, I'll call it a night. Joseph sees. I personally have no clue how Eric sees anything on his streams. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The, the the comments just fly by. I think some people don't realize that. Um, even on here, like if you're opening packs and there's a few people typing at once, I only see two or three comments on my uh, screen at one time. So I try to look down every few seconds and see uh, what people are saying. But sometimes if I get wrapped up in a moment, like pulling that 85 Leaf Clemens out of that pack, um, I just completely don't see it at all. Cliff Floyd... Rookie card is actually 92. There's another Ripken. Yeah, I still plan on... Anybody that sent me uh, FMF packages recently, I still plan on sending you uh, responses. I sent out a lot of them last week. I think I still have a couple to get out. Um, but yeah, I definitely still plan on doing that. But as a series, I think it might be axed 
for good. Mr. Super Chat might bleed silver and black. I apologize for that. There we go. Gavin again didn't uh, didn't see it. But I bleed silver and black with five boxes. I saw Eric's video today. This is a start to your new shoe fund. LOL. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I bleed silver and black. I was uh, I was kind of waiting for someone to say something about that. The uh, One of the most uh, recent antique mall videos Eric did. Actually, the one he posted yesterday. The place we went to in the middle of nowhere. Um, found some nice 10 cent boxes. There's a lot of crap in there, but also some decent stuff and some nice vintage cards. Yes, <laughs> he's sitting on the floor at one point. There's an Almar, and uh, you can see my shoes are all beat up. <laughs> there, there's, I mean, that's from skating, though. I, I used to go through a pair of shoes like once a month just from skating. Nowadays, I haven't been doing it as much, so they last me a little longer now, maybe a couple months. It's a Trot Nixon rookie card. Definitely some Trot Nixon fans out there. But uh, the overall second best rookie you can get other than Billy Wagner. And there's 4 bucks or four ninety nine from Michael Padgett. Uh, base and, and ball cards it says got my card yesterday cleaned up the 73 Fisk and it looks awesome now Well, like I said before I'm so glad that you got those cards. They arrived safely from last week's auction and I'd like to see the 73 fix Fisk man um, It was kind of like a throw-in bonus card to one of the lots on there and had like some sort of sticky goo on it But it's a second year card so 73 tops and he said he cleaned it up, so I definitely would be interested in seeing that. If you have some time, shoot me an email, man. Send me a picture of that. I'd love to see it. Nice card. I mean, it was a decent card overall, especially for a second year and just to be thrown in for a bonus. I thought it was a pretty uh, nice little bonus there. There's two bucks from Baltimore Box Breakers. This is 5,000 giveaway. Could be a 5,000 Eric Plunk card lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I know I could just take all the Plunk, all the Plunks that the people send me. Maybe even have 5,000 of them by now because I've gotten so many of them. And make that the big giveaway. And people might go nuts over that. They may. Plunk, Sabo, um, John Hudek, Bernard Gilkey, all the trolls. If I mesh all those cards together, I probably have 5,000 of them by now. That would be the big grand prize. Joe sees his auction tonight. There, I'm actually not doing tonight. Here's a nice one, though. Nolan Ryan, Silver Facsimile. Checklist card. Wish it was the actual uh, base card, but still pretty cool, though, nonetheless. We've seen a lot of crap as far as silver inserts go. So that's a nice uh, breath of fresh air to see a, a Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Paul L. says John should table his shoes with Chris Sabo cards. <laughs> Two Tim Bogars back-to-back. Kind of got gypped there. And Paul L. says Dan Quisenberry jumbo cards. Craig Jeffries, Reggie Sanders, and Ron Darling. Again, I'm not going to subject you guys to any more 94 Collector's Choice. NCJ Sports Cards says, I can't believe you auctioned off that 68 Reggie Rookie. The, the 69 Tops, I still have it. I did not auction that off. That's for my PC. Paid, what did I pay for that? Was it 20 bucks? I actually have it sitting next to me like I always do with everything. But this was 20 bucks at the old Honey Hole. And, um... We actually, Eric and I actually visited the new Honey Hole today, which you guys will probably see at some point, but it was pretty disheartening, so uh, don't expect a whole lot out of that. Pretty pretty sad day to go through there. But this is pretty nice. Crease in it, as you can tell there, but for 20 bucks, I will definitely take it and add it to the Rookies uh, collection that I have. New Honey Hole, I'm going to stop there on that comment and let you guys... Wait to see Eric's video on that, but I'll leave you in suspense on that. That's it for the weekend recap, guys. I appreciate you for being here. Um, anybody new to the stream, the singles I picked up this weekend, just a quick recap. La Russa, Joe Torre, McCovey for 20 bucks, which is awesome. Granky and Walker Bueller, uh, rookie card, 2018 Don Russ for a dime. And anybody else popping in here now? This was, I'm pretty stoked about this. I am still very excited the 50 cent 85 leaf pack Clemens pool was a very, very nice surprise. I like that one a lot. But I think this Tuesday we are going to be doing a box of 86 Don Russ BBCE authenticated. And then after that, we'll probably go into the 90s. Uh, possibly 95 Bowman could be coming up again. Maybe I, I might even do 87 Don Russ because I love that set and I have a few boxes of those sitting around. Eventually, we'll do 93 Bowman. Um, I have a box of jumbo packs. We will do that at some point. And then uh, I'd like to get into some 
other late 90s stuff that I missed out on. So stay tuned for that. Um, probably won't have a video for you tomorrow, but I will see you guys all again on Tuesday. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and thank you for hanging out. I'll see you soon.